Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Welcome back to part three of Midsummer Pruning. I'm going to start today by pruning up my dragon tree. This isn't a dragon's blood tree, it's just called a dragon tree. My goal for this tree is to prune it so the branches get shorter and shorter as the tree gets taller. So I've got my main trunk pruned off at this height. The second branches are half that height pruned off to here. And then the next step will be to prune these off at half the distance of the previous pruning. So about here. Here's a close up of that. So here's my original height of my trunk. So half that distance is about here. And that's where I pruned it last time. And then I wanna half that distance again. So down to here. So I'll prune these branches off quite short up here. It's time for midsummer pruning here in the bonsai zone. The dragon tree needs a lot of light. And over the winter, this one branch died off at the tip here, but now it's regrowing. So I won't prune this branch because it's kind of weak as it is. But I will prune the rest because it's midsummer, the temperature's warm, there's full sunshine. So it's a good time to prune this type of tree. I'm going to prune the branches now. So I want to get my distance. Here's my first internode. My second one is half that and I want to go half that. So to about here. So here I go. That's one. Two. Three. That's a fairly large branch. And the final one right here. Done. So this should fill in and I, I'm trying to get a canopy. I'm, I'm trying to prune this so it looks like a dragon's blood tree which has that big mushroom flat top canopy on it. This isn't a dragon's blood tree but that's the style I'm going to prune it into. I'm wondering about this shoot. Should I prune it off or should I leave it? Um, I'll try pruning it and see what happens. Here I go. Even though it's a little weak, but uh, there we go. Should recover well. The cuttings from this tree root quite easily. Just place it in soil, miss the top regularly, try and keep it as humid as possible, and it'll grow roots. I'll be sure to give you an update to this tree once the new leaves start growing in. So on to the next tree. The next trees I'll be pruning is my little miniature Bougainvillea bonsai forest. When I first planted this forest, all the trunks were perfectly vertical. And as they've grown, they've kind of splayed out all by themselves. I'm not sure why they've done that. It might be the way the roots have grown and it's kind of pushed them over. But I can't really change that at this point in time. The roots are quite intertwined here. So I'm just going to prune it back today, get them back to small little trees. I'm going to prune them back quite small. I'm just looking for dormant buds on the branches that I can prune back to. I'll start here. I can always prune it shorter later on. It's a shame to prune off the flowers, but... Go there. But hopefully, It'll recover and maybe flower for the show. And again, these grow easily from cuttings, so... It's a good idea to plant them. I'm just pruning back to short internodes, so... You know, keeping the branches short and then they grow again and then I prune them back. So you get these nice kind of Nice movement to the branches. Okay, I'll come up front and have a look at that. I am going to have to come in and do some further pruning just to refine the shape. So I'm going to take this branch off shorter here. It's sticking out way too high. 
I do want sort of a rounded canopy on top of these trees. This one's too long. I'll prune it back to here. And this one's too long. I'll prune it back to here. I think I'm going to take this one. There's a bit of an eye poker branch coming straight out towards the viewer. So I'll take that one off like that. And I'll shorten this one to here. This one could be pruned back here to there. I'm going to prune everything on this trunk is kind of leaning. I want to get the direction going more vertical. So I'm going to take the top off of this branch and redirect it more vertical like that. So this now has a shoot that can grow more vertical here. Uh, I'm just going to take the tip off this one so I get a bit of ramification. Right here, like that. And I think, I still think this branch is too high, so I've got to take it back even further to here. And maybe this one to here, like that. And this one back here, I'll take off here. And I think that's pretty good. There's a shot looking at the front now, right about that view. Um, I do have a root that's kind of sticking out of the soil here that I will prune off like that. Didn't look very good. The rest I think is not too bad. Hopefully, when all the new shoots grow in, the forest will look good for our fall bonsai show. The smaller leaf hibiscus that I bought last summer has got two flowers in bloom today. It looks quite nice. I haven't done any bonsai work on this hibiscus yet, but that'll be coming up probably in the winter time. The next tree I'll be pruning up is my Brazilian rain tree. A person in the Toronto Bonsai Society told me that if you put these Brazilian rain trees in full sun, give them lots of water and fertilizer, that they'll double their size in just a year. And this tree has pretty well done that. It's getting really large. My plan for this tree is to prune it in a large umbrella style canopy and have the branches come down really low to the ground. So it'll be almost like a, a dome. So I've got to prune off all these shoots that are sticking up to kind of balance the growth so one branch doesn't take off and become really thick compared to the others. So I just want to balance the tree, get it pruned back to a rounded canopy. So here I go. I've got to pick a height for my canopy, which I think most of the foliage is about here. So I'll prune back to here. like that and here and here and here so that's got my height in check now I've got to come above and prune to a rounded profile when looking down. I'm looking down at the tree now, and here's a shoot that's sticking way out of the rounded profile, so that needs pruning back. And I think, yeah, about here, like that. Here's another one here that's kind of zigzagging out, out of the profile, so I'll prune that back to here. I'm putting all these cuttings in a pile carefully because they have really nasty thorns on them and I don't want to step on them. So here's another one. I can prune this one back to here. And this helps balance the vigor of the branches also. This one can come back to here. And this one to here. To And one over here. So that's got it roughly pruned 
to an oval shape when viewed from above. The Brazilian rain tree is pruned back and under control. Let's go on with the next tree. The next tree that I want to prune is my spruce tree that was grown from a seed. I think it's a white spruce. I didn't get time to pinch the shoots in spring, so they've elongated and hardened off and grown quite long. So I'm going to try a midsummer pruning. I'm going to prune these shoots back at least half the length and then see how it recovers for next year. I'll start up top. There's a couple of buds that have already developed here. There's another bud up here and one here and there's about three on the apex. But I'm going to ignore those buds. I'm just going to prune wherever I want and at the base of each needle there's a dormant bud that should come out. So I want to keep this tree quite compact so I'm going to prune it back to right here. I'm trying to come between the needles here right to here. So here I go like that. Smells nice. Off ant. The next one I'll prune back is some of these branches coming out around it. And I'm going to keep the whorls, all these, you know, layers of branches growing out. So there's one, two, three, four branches growing out from one spot. And that is typical on a spruce tree, but not on a bonsai tree, because typically that area will thicken up because you have so many branches coming out. But I'm going to try and manage the vigor on this tree, keeping these compact and letting my lower branches grow longer. So hopefully I won't get a swelling at the uh, base of all these branches. We'll see anyway. So as I go down the tree, my branches are going to get longer. So I'm basically doing a profile prune to a triangular form. Like that. And we'll see how it recovers. I've done this on trees that are in the ground and they do quite well, but I've never tried it on one that's in a pot. So there's an opportunity to learn something here. And it may be good, <laughs> it may be bad. We'll see. I'm getting down to these branches. So I've got to prune them back. Uh, shorter. So here I go. So I'm kind of letting the tree almost grow where it wants to and just keeping it trim. I don't know if that makes any sense but I've got a fairly thick branch that's growing off the main trunk here. It's much thicker than all the other branches so it's almost like a twin trunk. I don't think I want that, so I'm going to prune it right off. I've got lots of other branches in that area. So here I go, just like that. So that was, you know, fairly thick and all the rest of the branches are quite thin. So I wanna keep it in balance, this tree. Okay, back to pruning now. Looking above and getting my triangular form to the spruce. This spruce is about five years old from a seed now. It's doing really well. It's been grown in a pot all its life. It germinated in a pot. It's been repotted just once. So I'm going to repot it next spring if it survives this operation, which hopefully it will. It really smells nice. Uh, it smells like you've just walked through a spruce forest and you can smell all the wonderful spruce scents. Yeah, really nice smell. Right now it's midsummer, and a lot of trees go dormant in the summer because usually it's a dry season, full sun, hot temperatures. So the trees just kind of sit there and then when it starts cooling off, they start growing again. So Hopefully, when the temperatures start to cool off, the tree will start forming buds all around these pruning points. There's a shot of my little spruce all pruned up. 
I haven't picked a front for the tree yet, but uh, we'll do that when it comes time to repot it. Maybe put it in its first bonsai pot. The next trees I'll be pruning up are my acacia seedlings. There's sweet thorn and fever trees in this planting. I like to let these trees grow over the summer and gain strength and thicken up the trunks. But the planting's just getting too large. It's taking up too much space on the bench. So it's time for a midsummer pruning. I'll prune it back short and then it'll regrow. I'll be doing a hedge style pruning to this forest. Just pruning the canopy to a profile. So here I go. I'll pick a height, maybe, maybe about here. I have to be careful. These cuttings also have thorns on them. So I have to be careful not to step on them. Tough wood in these. You need really sharp pruners. Ow. I've seen lots of acacia trees as bonsai, but usually they have a really ugly root base. The roots are all tangled and twisted and gnarled almost in a ball. So I'm going to manage the roots on these trees and I've been doing that. I think they've been repotted at least twice. So I'll keep up with the root base on them to try and get a fairly radial root base and try and make, you know, quite an attractive bonsai out of them in the end. I've got the canopy pruned to a rough profile now. Now I want to go in looking down from above and prune out any crisscrossing branches. So there's one here that starts over here and it crosses, goes across about three trees. So that should be pruned back shorter to here. Just so each tree has its own space. I'll just come out front now and have a look at the planting. I've got the acacias all pruned up now, so they're ready to grow again. The last tree I'll be pruning today is my cascading eastern white cedar or Thuja occidentalis. This tree has some natural cascading branches and the reason they cascade is I let them grow long. So you can see this branch and the longer it grows the more weight the branch gets and it starts to weep. If I were to keep this branch pruned short it would probably just grow upright like a regular branch but because it has all this weight on it it cascades where it joins onto the trunk. So I don't want to prune these cascade branches. I want to keep them strong and I want to keep them heavy so they naturally cascade. I do want to prune the apex nice and compact because it doesn't weep. I want to keep it more of a, you know, upright style apex and then all the branches weep coming off of that. So I'll prune back the apex nice and compact. When I'm developing an eastern white cedar, I give them lots of water and fertilizer and they grow really strong and healthy. You do get these rocket type branches. You get these cylindrical branches that shoot up and eventually they develop the regular foliage on them. Uh, this indicates that your tree is well fed and well watered. If you had a show tree that you're kind of refining, don't give it quite as much water and not as much fertilizer and you won't get these rocket type branches. It'll develop just normal. This branch here is definitely a cascading branch. This branch is sort of borderline. If I grew it longer, it would get heavier and start to cascade. If I pruned it off now, it would be more of a normal horizontal branch. So I have to decide what the future is for that branch. Do I want another branch coming down kind of cascading here? probably. So I will let that branch grow. I'll just prune this upright shoot off of it like that to keep it more of a horizontal cascading style branch. I can clean up at the junction of that branch. There's a few small shoots growing that I can clean up and get rid of Like that, there's a hanging branch here I can get rid of. There's a branch here I can shorten. Like that, and I'll shorten the tip here. 
There's another rocket branch coming off here. It's coming straight out the front. I don't want it, so I'm going to remove it entirely. Bit of an eye poker branch. There's a long branch growing here that needs shortening. I don't want this one to cascade. It's more of a horizontal branch. So I'll just prune it back shorter like that. I think I will prune this other rocket branch off. I do have a nice branch coming off more horizontally here. And it's not the apex of the tree. The apex is back here. So I'll remove that entirely also. So that's two rocket branches I've removed. And there's the apex of my tree. Do you, so you have to be careful not to prune them back too hard or the branch just kind of dies dies back and you get new shoots coming out on the branch. Um, yeah, a light trimming is better than a severe heavy trimming. Bit of pinching there. Uh, some back branches here that need shortening to here. Here. I would say you can safely take about 50% off the branch. But you know, the more you take off, the riskier it gets. You could get some dieback. There's a branch here I'm going to remove. It's growing on top of another branch. It's just kind of duplicated. There's a branch here that could become a cascading branch. It's getting length and getting a bit of weight on it. Same with this one. This one definitely back here. There's an upright shoot I'll take off of that one just to keep it more of a weeping style branch. Like that. Keeping that weight at the tips. Another rocket branch I found back here I can take off. Wasn't growing in a good spot. So that's looking pretty good. Let me have a look at it from the front. From the front, I'm just cleaning out some of the, the growth at the trunk and cleaning up the uh, the base of the branches to remove all those fine little foliage shoots so you can see the actual branch structure removing some of the shoots that are hanging down and blocking light to these lower branches there's some branches growing vertically off this cascading branch i'm going to trim those off there's a shot of the tree now so this tree is still in development you know to get these branches to cascade and you know, further refine it. This, uh, this bend in the trunk was naturally like that. This tree was dug up from a pathway where it had been stepped on many, many times and driven over by a all-terrain vehicle. So that part is totally natural. The deadwood's natural. It's basically how I dug it up and then I've let it grow. So it's doing well. I like the style of the tree and I think it'll be a a really nice tree in the future. I do want to get a really nice pot for it so I'll be on the lookout for a really nice tall pot like this slightly larger so I can develop the tree a little more. It's time now for today's updates. The first update for today is this little clump of cedars that's growing over top of a rock. These are the trees that Harold gave me. They were just growing in his back planter I think he collected the rock, had it planted in his planter, it grew moss on top and then some seedlings started growing on top of that. So this is totally natural. Nothing's ever been done to this planting other than repotting it in this bonsai pot. So yeah, this trees have grown really well. The roots have thickened up. That's quite a nice planting. The rock used to be covered in more moss, but the uh, birds have been picking it off, so they've kind of exposed the rock for me. I do want to keep this tree small, so I will have to pinch it and keep it pruned because, you know, as it grows, it'll just thicken up too much and eventually swallow up the rock that's below it. So I always want to be able to see that rock because it's really quite an interesting rock. I'll see if I can give you a close-up of it. It's got some really cool structure in it. Yeah, so that's the first update for today. My second update for today is my crown of thorns bonsai. 
This tree has really surprised me. It reacted really well to pruning. The trunk is getting some flare at the base now. It used to have that inverse taper, which is uh, the way they naturally grow when they're young. But it's thickening up at the base and looking more tree-like. It's in flower right now. You can see the flowers up top here. Quite nice looking. So yeah, so this tree or plant just continues to surprise me. I think it's a really good plant to grow as bonsai. And you can go away on vacation. You don't have to worry about watering it every day or twice a day. It just uh, survives the heat, the dryness. Yeah, a really, really good tree for bonsai. I would highly recommend it to anyone. While we're in the greenhouse, I'll give you an update to my Ficus religiosa. I just repotted it recently. And if we look down at the base here, you can see there's all kinds of new roots forming at the surface of the soil there. See the little red roots? Yeah, so it's growing really well. Now, up top on the tree, if we go up top to, let's pick this bud, you can see it's just about coming out. There's a new little tiny leaf coming out right here. Yeah, and over here, you can see the same thing. There's a shoot coming out on it. So that means the tree is full of energy, ready to grow. So I'll have to prune that back soon. Get all those loose kind of branches pruned back. And hopefully it'll grow new leaves in and possibly look good for the bonsai show. Midsummer is disappearing fast. So that's all for this video and this series on midsummer pruning. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.